Hi, Dorita here, and uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about measurement conversion, um, like changing feet into inches or uh, pounds into tons or even pounds into ounces. Uh, things like that. So uh, one of the main things that my kids struggle with is determining whether or not they need to multiply or divide when they're doing these conversions. So what I'd like to do is share with you a little diagram that we use and then explain to you why it works. Okay, so here's our uh, here's our conversion diagram. And so the kids are, are very good at, at drawing this out. Over here on the left, we have an L and that L stands for our large unit. Now, sometimes feet can be the large units if we're doing feet and inches, but then sometimes they can be the small units if we're doing feet and yards. So it just depends on, on the measurements that we're actually changing over. We also have on the right, small units. Now, if I start with a large unit and I want to change it into a small unit, I need to multiply. And if I've got a small unit and I want to change it into a large unit, I need to divide. And so. Um, I often have students and, um, and parents and other people say, that doesn't make sense. It seems like you've got it backwards. So I want to explain to you why this is the, the proper way to do it. So if you look at this little thing here, this uh, line right here is going to represent one foot. Well, notice that if it represents one foot, it also represents 12 inches. So if I started with the measurements of feet and I wanted to change it into the smaller units of inches, then I would need to multiply 1 times 12 to get 12. If I started with the 12 inches and wanted to find out how many feet that would be, I would need to divide the smaller units, the smaller inches, 12, divided by 12 and get 1 foot. So what we're doing here and on this one, we've got three yards, and that three yard section actually also represents nine feet. So once again, if we start with the larger yards and want to find out the equivalent feet, then we would need to multiply three times three because there's three feet in the yard. If we started out with the nine feet and wanted to figure out how many yards that is, then we would need to divide the nine feet by three and get three yards. So. This diagram here has the, um, the, the operations correctly. If we want to change large units into their equivalent small units, then we would need to multiply by the, by the factor of however many units um, are in a whole. Same thing here. If we start with small units and want to know how many large units that is, we would need to be putting them in, in groups to make a bigger chunks of them to make those large units, and that would be division. So, uh, sometimes it, it may look a little bit deceiving at first, but it actually makes sense when you use it. Now, what I want to talk to you about real fast is why I don't really like the term measurement conversion. Because when we use conversion, it sounds like we're actually changing the units. And when you're changing large units, you are dividing them up into smaller pieces. What I prefer to explain to my kids is that when we are doing measurement conversions, we're not really changing the units. We're seeing how many equivalent larger or smaller units would fit in that same uh, space or weigh the same amount or whatever. So if I've got a pound, and I know that pounds have 16 ounces, if I have three pounds, and I want to know how many ounces that is, find the equivalent ounces, then I would multiply 3 times 16. So there you have it. Um, that's our quick way of making sure that we are using the correct operation so that we can get the correct, the correct equivalent um, uh, terms, um, like 1 mile, 5,280 feet. So uh, yeah, I hope you liked this video. Please uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to get more of these. And uh, let me know what you think. So you may like or share or comment below. And um, please stay tuned. And we'll be bringing you some new videos very shortly. Thank you so much.